Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Nev's Tech Bits. I got this new Zebra ZT411 on the left and a Zebra ZT230 on the right. Now, with most Zebra products, there's a real hassle with getting it connected to the network. So here, I'm going to show you the easy way that I do it. First off, connect your unit, turn it on, hook it up to the network. And whatever IP address it chooses in the DHCP, whatever IP address it comes up with, just take that. Once it's connected to the network, I want you to find a web browser and then you're going to put that IP number into the web browser and it's going to take you to an option menu that uh, kind of the way your router at home would. Let's take a look at that. So this is what the web page is going to look like. You can see that I've put in the IP number up here that was automatically given to the Zebra printer. And from here, we can modify the printer settings. And that's what I want you to click on next. View and modify printer settings. When it asks you for the password, the password, as long as nobody's changed it, is one, two, three, four. Pretty easy. So we hit submit changes next. You can save your password if you want. Access granted. Now, over here, we will go to network configuration and then we'll go to TCP IP settings. Now from here, the first thing you want to do is go to IP protocol and make sure it's on permanence and nothing else. Now with the IP address, we can change that. Let's just change it down one. Of course you need your subnet max and your default gateway. So we will hit submit changes. After that, we hit view and modify printer settings. And then we hit save current configuration. Now we're not done yet. Next we have to hit view and modify printer settings and then after that we need to hit reset network. Now after that your printer should have taken on the new IP number. You're going to notice that this won't work. I can't hit view and modify printer settings anymore because the IP address has changed. See? Just like that. This is the easiest way to configure one of these units and it seems to work for every Zebra printer that I have come across so far. So here we can see that it took the IP address changed. I changed it to .116 and then back to .115 and it took the change here. Next up, it's going to be the same thing for this unit over here and let me walk you through it. You can tell because the network light is green that I have connected to this this to the network. So let's have a closer look. Printer information. We are going to put that uh, wired IP address into the browser. And then once again, we're going to go through the steps of how to make this a static IP address. Once again, even though this is a newer model, I put the IP address in here. Once I get the unit connected to the network, and then come on down to view and modify printer settings. Once again, the password is 1234. We'll submit the changes. Access has been granted. Next thing we'll do is go to network configuration. Cloud connect settings, that's different, that's new. But what we want is TCP IP settings. We want to make this permanent and we want to change this to what we need and then we have to yeah that's right yeah that's right so then we'll go to submit changes view and modify printer settings save current configuration view and modify printer settings and then reset network now this might take a minute or two, but we'll notice really quickly that we can't get back to our view and modify printer settings. So now let's try the new IP address. As it says, it could be up to two minutes before it works. 
Looks like we have to wait the two minutes. The printer already has the new IP address showing, but we still have to wait. And just like that, about two minutes later, view and modify printer settings, network configuration, TCP IP settings, and it has saved all of the settings that we have given it. Awesome. Well, folks, I hope I helped you out. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other. Have a good one.